Hey up you beautiful buggers, it's a noise generator and in this video we're making this a nice little cosy cabin in the woods, beautiful. Now location wise we're in the arse end of nowhere, just near this beautiful little bear here and it did take a while to find this but I think you'll agree when you see it, it fits this kind of build perfectly. Look at that you see, absolutely beautiful spot, in my opinion it's one of the best on the map. But anyway enough of that, let's get some foundations down, it's really simple this one, we're just doing a 3x3 three three square. Now I'm not going to lie guys, I'm not the first person to do a 3x3 three three build so if you was the first person you know the originator of this then feel free to go into the comments section or twitter or facebook depending on which you prefer and let everybody know what a content stealing scumbag i am and neo once you've got all your foundations down you should be left with something like this the next thing we've got to do is offset some floor pieces with catwalks yes i know i do it every single video and it's probably getting boring now but there's always so many ways you can skin a cat guys and it's inevitable i'm going to use the same techniques over and over again techniques i might add that i did not come up with so credit to the 72,000 possible people who came up with this trick. Once you've used a medium sized catwalk to off centre this foundation grab the one in the middle and drag it up to it. Then slap down another one on this side of it here. Beautiful. We're then going to put down two walls here. Doesn't matter which texture you use. And on top of them we're going to put down brick top arches. Now the brick part is very important so make sure you use that. For some reason it's magic and once you've destroyed it with a flamethrower trap it allows you to remove walls from underneath it. None of the other materials do as far as I'm aware. So let's go ahead and build up some stash boxes, place down a flamethrower trap on top of it and destroy both of those brick top arches. Mm-hmm, yep, simply, simply lovely. Once you've destroyed them, remove the walls from underneath them and then drag your foundations into the correct position, i.e. where they bloody well were before we offset them. We're then going to put in our front three walls here. Obviously, I'm using the log cabin set because we're making a log cabin. If you don't have this build set, then may I suggest making a concrete cabin or a steel cabin or maybe not making a cabin at all, maybe a lake house yeah that'll do nicely now you've got all them walls in place repair your destroyed top arches change them to the log cabin set or whatever set you're using and you should be left with something like this for our next trick we are going to merge this red fireplace into this brick fireplace all you need are fireplaces obviously a little mannequin and a floor pressure plate now i will pre-warn you this particular merge is a bugger to get lined up right you'll be able to get the chimney sitting in the middle of the brick fireplace but it'll always sit too far forwards that's because the red chimney fire thing that we're using will stick out the back of this brick fireplace. Does that make any sense? No? Well, it doesn't matter. Just trust me on this one. Now, to get these to merge together or whatever items you do want to merge together, it'll work for anything. You've got to make sure that you put them on a pressure plate which is depressed. And I don't mean depressed as in you've been hurling abuse at it all day. I mean it in regards to the pressure plate itself. It needs to be pressed down and that's where the mannequin comes into play. It registers as an NPC for some strange reason. So when you place it down on top of a pressure plate, it'll depress it for you. you know, it just saves you standing on it yourself, makes life a little bit easier. Once you've got your two items that you want to merge together, put them on top of the pressure plate and then literally pick it up and drop it over and over again. And the top item will sink into the bottom item. Just like that, you see, beautiful. And because we place our chimney so far forward on the stone fireplace, the back of it isn't sticking out of here. Do you get what I mean now? Of course you do. And while it's not perfect, here's another view, it is pretty much bang on in the middle. So beggars can't be choosers with this one, unfortunately. You can destroy it and start again if you really want to do but for the purpose of this video we're not gonna do anyway we're gonna grab ourselves another one of these fireplaces and we're gonna center it on where these two foundations join together and the idea of this is we're gonna have an exposed chimney breast on the outside of our log cabin now the log cabin set is thick with two c's so it is a bit more difficult to get it right but what you're trying to do is get the fireplace to hang over the foundation just enough so it clips through the wall that you're using does that make sense beautiful once you're happy with its placement we're gonna grab our glitchy by 3000 here and we're going to stick it on top the fireplace we've just been moving now this can be an absolute pain in the ass getting it right and if you get it perfect the first time then go and put your lottery on tonight and obviously remember good old tng if you do win now to save you a number of aneurysms of boredom i'm just going to cut away to when this is lined up to my liking i'll be back in a second and look at that you see it's not too bad is it i mean yes it does have more lip than steven tyler where it joins together but it'll do for now the next thing we've got to do is destroy the bottom fireplace with a flamethrower you don't have to worry about the top it'll disappear when you get rid of bottom one you can then put in your walls repair your fireplace and just check if it's you know lined up how you want it to be as you can see my log cabin has actually become part of the fireplace so i'm just going to try and tidy that up a little bit and yeah i got bored of that within five seconds so let's try and put some roofs on now nothing's changed here all i've done is put some top arches in over the fireplace and repaired the fire itself and now we're going to be counterproductive and destroy the fireplace yet again and once that's gone you can start putting in your roof pieces it's dead 
simple. You just put in three swampy bars here and three on the opposite side. Now that you've spent precious time putting them in, you're going to destroy them all with a flamethrower trap. And yes, guys, I am aware that you can reuse a flamethrower. It's just easier to put three down and burn all the bastards at once. Once they've been burnt to shit, we're then going to put two more swampy bars in here like that. Beautiful. And then can you take a guess at what we're going to do with these pieces? Yep, we're going to burn the shit out of them. So just go ahead and do that. And once all that's done, you should be able to put flat roof pieces all underneath this destroyed shit here. That's going to tidy up the inside of the build and we can put a generator up there too. On the subject of the generator, as you can see, I've put down a little roof piece here and on top of it, I'm going to place down one of the little vault tech bad boys. I'm going to stick a conduit to it and I'm going to run a wire from the generator to the conduit. Once you've done that, simply drag the generator onto the flat roof pieces. Beautiful. Get rid of that extra roof piece and then it's just a question of going round and repairing all the destroyed roofs and getting rid of all the flamethrower traps. Always remember guys, don't use the camp module because that's far too easy. Now you've got all them repaired, fix up your fireplace. Obviously it doesn't look perfect because of the little mantelpiece half thing sticking out at the top, but it doesn't look too offensive and when you come outside you'll see that it's all been worth it. Now I don't like to blow my own trumpet unless it's a Friday, but that looks absolutely bloody fantastic. Very log cabin Eh. Now all you gotta do is go around and put all the rest of your walls in and there's nothing difficult about this, there's no merging shit, no destroying stuff, or literally just plonking down walls. Remember guys, this build is a simple log cabin that you find in woods, we don't have to do some massive extravagant looking monstrosity. When you've got all your walls in and you're happy with them, these front foundations here, we're gonna get rid of all them and we're gonna replace them with the log cabin porch set. Now this isn't a major change by any means, but when you step back and take a look at your handiwork, you'll realise just how much of a difference and porches can make simply simply bloody lovely and you know what sod it while we're here we'll add some of these little shrubbery things i don't know what the bloody hell they're called brambles that's a word all around the bottom of the log cabin here it'll hide the bottom of that fireplace sticking out as well as the foundations and just make it look a little bit more natural yeah that's the word now all you gotta do is put down some railings here you don't want to fall in the weight do you or maybe you do i don't know either way old tng is not taking liability for it so the Fucking railings are going in. Apologies for that outburst. Anyhow, once you've got all of them in, then it's time to decorate. And if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that my decorating is equivalent to that of a five-year-old. So don't get too excited. I'll be back in a second. And that is it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As ever, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons. The extra support is really appreciated. And if any of you guys want to get involved with that, the link's down in the description. What you also find... Find? I you sound like a fucking farmer. Ha, <laughs> Christ knows what happened there. But yeah, anyway. What you also find in the description is a link to my Discord. And of course, guys, if you did like the video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more weekly Fallout 76 content, hit that subscribe button too. Anyhow, as we say it north... I'll love you and leave you, and I'll catch you at next one.